What's up, everybody? It is about 5.30 in the morning. Um, we're about to get this day started. Welcome. I am back, and it's been about two years. And by about two years, I mean almost exactly two years as of last week since I had VNS implanted, um, had the surgery, came to you guys with a little bit of information about the surgery and the scars and the process. Uh, five months later, about starting to wean off medication um, and ramp up my VNS therapy. And it's been two years. So, um, you know, doing a lot of research online, I know you guys will kind of find a lot of really helpful information um, and I did a lot of a lot of research before going through this process there's not a lot out there as far as first-person perspective uh, of the therapy itself and and how it can help you or or who it's helped um, and and the benefits and the cost um, and so that's what this is about. You know, it's been two years and man, I've been busy. I've been so busy and it's awesome. It's amazing. Um, so I'm here to share with you guys the process and what's been going on um, and just try to be real transparent about everything and give you guys as much information as possible. You know, because through my research, I found that uh, the therapy is a therapy and it's something that, uh, you know, may take some time for your system to get used to. Um, the biggest thing that I have to share with you guys today, you know, and my doctor told me uh, when I got the implant because my, I was myself, um, you know, I, I didn't respond to the medication, you know, and I was taking 3,000 milligrams of all sorts of different medication here and there all the time. I couldn't drive, I couldn't leave the house, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't live my life. I dropped out of college. And that medication just, it killed me, absolutely just destroyed me. Um, and it wasn't working. I was still having two to three seizures a week. And it was taking me two to three days to recover from the seizures. And I'd often have, you know, two, three, four seizures in one day. I, I was stuck. I didn't know, you know, where to go in my life. And, and this was almost, this was something that, it was a big decision for me, you know, at the time, but it was also, it was, you know, do this, be medicated, and be suppressed, you know, the rest of your life um, for something that you can't really count on that well. Um, you know, and we've kind of gone through this before. Every therapy is going to work differently for everyone, especially with epileptic seizures. Everyone is different, you know. So today, it's been two years, and it's taken a while for my body to get used to it. Um, but I can honestly say those two, these past two years have been absolutely incredible. And I have a lot to share. Um, I'm not going to just do it all in one video because um, I don't want to make these videos too long. Um, if you have a question, um, comment below. You guys have been awesome and encouraging so far, you know, with the comments and just hearing about what everyone else is going through and, and, and kind of getting that, that similar perspective. Um, we're all kind of on the same page and we're all on the same team and we're all in this together. Um, just kind of trying to figure out your own case in your own scenario. Anyways, the biggest thing I want to share with you guys, it's been two years. Uh, and honestly, it has flown by. I remember, you know, when I was taking medication and I was having seizures, even though a lot of those days I can, you know, hardly even piece together this, that, that, that time span in my life seemed like it went on for eternity. Um, and you guys, I'm sure that you know you know exactly what I mean. But today, two years later, 
been receiving this stimulus um, for two years and uh, I can say that I am 100% medication free. I was taking 3,000 milligrams um, of medication, all sorts of different kinds of medication. Um, towards the end there it was mostly Depakote and Keppra just because just because that's kind of where I was, I had tried, I had already tried out so many, so many different things, and it's taken, um, it took, uh, you know, a good six months, seven months to come completely off of medication, you know, safely, so that my body was used to it and I wasn't um, having hyperactive brain activity because of it. Um, but I am completely off medication. I got back in school right away started off slow and you know since I got back in school I have a 4.2 GPA got a job in the IT department right off the bat and I'm now um, the lead tech for our department so I'm managing a pretty big chunk of our org and I'll be getting my bachelor's degree uh, you know, I had to take myself out of school so it's a little late, but this fall I'm getting my bachelor's degree and uh, starting starting with my master's degree in the spring. So really excited. So many awesome, awesome things have been happening and I want to share with you guys the journey. You know, it's been two years. Um, the second I came off that medication, it's been... I can't even tell you. I can't even begin to explain to you. And, and I'm not trying to necessarily encourage you guys, oh, stop all medication. Like, you need to do the things in your life that will allow you to be healthy um, and to, uh, you know, revitalize yourself so that you can be in a place um, with, under the supervision of a doctor where, uh, you know, you can live the life that you want to live, and that life is not, you know, going to be a life that's necessarily the same as everyone else that surrounds you, you know, your family um, and your friends and the people that you see every day online um, and the people that you see every day at school or at work, because you're different. You're not everyone else. There's certain things in your life, you know, and we all have things in your life. Everyone has vices. Everyone has those things that hold them back. There's things in your life um, that you have to make those changes and you have to do those things every day to make sure that you're in a place um, where you're healthy and you're happy and you're doing the things um, that you can consistently, consistently provide yourself um, with the tools to be successful in um, your journey uh, for that fulfillment, for that fulfilling life. For me, medication was not the answer. It didn't work for me. I couldn't handle it. It's been two years and going from, you know, the point where I had to drop my classes, I was having two to three seizures every single week. Most of those seizures were accompanied um, by an entire, you know, period of um, hyper neuroactivity, and so usually it was, you know, just a whole day of seizing and um, and taking pills to try to stop it during that time. It didn't work for me, um, and I didn't want to live my life like that. I didn't want to live my life um, feeling like. I had to have these toxins in my body suppressing my brain activity, um, you know, and oh, this two years has been, has been revitalizing to say the least. So um, if you guys have any questions, drop them below in the comment box. Um, I will answer any questions in the form of uh, videos and I'm going to share with you guys kind of the things that have been going on in the last two years. Uh, so, you know, 
being completely transparent, I have. I've had two seizures since I've had my implant in. Uh, two pretty, you know, as far as a grand mal, epileptic, you know, two seizures in two years. <sighs> it's been pretty awesome. I mean, you, you never think of any seizures. You want to be completely seizure free, but for me, the journey and the struggle was about being seizure less, and I have um, more than achieved that goal, uh, profoundly achieved that goal, and it's through doing things every day like exercise and diet and um, just conscientiously going about life, you know, knowing that um, the way that I have to live may be a little bit different than everyone. Um, and you know that includes having uh, something in my chest, scars, um, and stimulus. And you know I've found in in my journey that that's okay with me. I'm willing to deal with that. The medication it wasn't okay for me. So um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I'm gonna post a couple more uh, just to kind of really get down in the details. Uh, about the things that have been going on, um, about how the stimulus has been working, about how it has affected the severity of my seizures, about how it's reduced um, the volume of my seizures, and how it's really contributed to my comeback, my revitalization, um, and mentally just the mental state that I'm in today is compared to where it was before I went into surgery uh, and where it was during the time when I was medicated um, the vast vast improvements and um, try to be completely honest and 100% transparent with the entire process how it's all been working out um, I gotta go to work right now but please comment if you guys have any questions and I will answer them as soon as possible um, let me know. Have an awesome week, guys.